Greetings to all sports lovers. Let's talk about Julio Jones today. He is the American football receiver for the Tennessee Titans of the National Football League. He played college football in Alabama and helped Crimson Tide run an unbeaten 14-0 season in 2009, including winning a 2010 BCS National Championship match. From 2011 he 2020 he played for the Atlanta Falcons team. In 2021, Jones was traded to the Tennessee Titans due to salary cap restrictions and reported disgruntlement with Atlanta's new front office. Julio Jones was born February 8, 1989 in Foley, Alabama. He has an elder brother Philip. The boys have always been in a good relationship with each other. When they grew older, Philip continued to visit football games of his brother and support him from the stands. When Julio was five years old, the father of the children left the family. The brothers are very proud of their mother, whose name is Queen Marvis. She managed to provide a good upbringing for the kids, although she was very strict. The boys understood this because they lived in a dangerous place with frequent violence incidents. She tried to protect them from it. Later, in the interviews, Julio said that his mother is the most influential person in his life. The future football star got an education at the Foley High School. It was the first time when he demonstrated his talents in sports and outstanding stats. Julio took part in more than three sports at a time, in basketball, football, long jump, high jump, and others. After some time, the talented boy made a decision to become a professional football player. Julio Jones firstly started to play in a season opener for the Crimson Tide. He demonstrated a fantastic performance in a win over the Georgia Bulldogs. Jones finished the regular season with 58 receptions, 924 yards, and 4 touchdowns. His performance in only his freshman year drew comparisons to NFL greats. According to ESPN, Julio is a unique player with his supreme blend of size, power, speed and agility. In 2009, Jones finished the game showing good results with Alabama winning the game 34-24 in the Chick-fil-A kickoff game. Jones's production in games increased during the second half of the 2009 season in the annual Iron Bowl game against rival Auburn. Jones started his junior season with a breakout performance against San Diego State and in a victory over Duke. He also played well in a win at Nayland Stadium in Knoxville, Tennessee. The sportsman had a final collegiate game when the Crimson Tide reached a bowl game. In 2011, instead of playing for college, the sportsman decided to declare eligibility for the NFL draft. He signed a four-year contract with the Atlanta Falcons. He made his NFL debut in a game against the Chicago Bears at Soldier Field. Julio Jones started the 2012 season with a great outing against the Kansas City Chiefs. He also showed his high skills as a professional player in games against the Philadelphia Eagle, the Eagles, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. In the 2012 season, as a result of his successful season, he was selected for the 2013 Pro Bowl. He was ranked 26th by his fellow players on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2012. Jones successfully started the 2013 season, and his best game was against the New Orleans Saints. He continued to surprise his fans with the results in games against the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots. In April, 2014, the Falcons accepted the fifth-year option of Jones's rookie contract. They extended his obligations with the team through the 2015 season. In November, Julio set a new personal record in the match against the Arizona Cardinals. He finished the season with perfect results, first in the NFC in both categories and third in the entire NFL, and was named to the Pro Bowl for the 2014 season. In August, 2015, the sportsman signed a five-year extension with the Falcons. He started the season with a strong performance against the Philadelphia Eagles. During the season, Jones had showed high scores against the Carolina Panthers and was given a title, NFC Offensive Player of the Week. He was selected to the 2015 Pro Bowl and was ranked by his fellow players as the eighth best player on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2016. In September, 2017, Jones began the season against the Chicago Bears. During Week 12 against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Jones had a monstrous performance in a game as the Falcons won 34-20. His skillful playing earned him NFC Offensive Player of the Week. He was ranked fourth by his fellow players on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2018. During the 2018 season, Julio appeared in matches against the Philadelphia Eagles, the Washington Redskins, and the Cleveland Browns. 
he became the fastest player in NFL history to reach 10,000 career receiving yards. In December, 2018, the player was named to his sixth Pro Bowl, which he had to miss due to injury. Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley, his teammate, have been a dynamic duo in 2019. Through three games, the two have a combined 32 catches for 440 yards and six touchdowns. In a game against the Philadelphia, Jones became the Falcons' all-time receiving yard leader. On September 7, 2019, Jones signed a three-year, $66 million extension with $64 million guaranteed, making him the highest-paid wide receiver in the league. In Week 16 against the Jacksonville Jaguars, Jones was targeted a career-high 20 times and recorded 10 receptions for a season-high 166 receiving yards as the Falcons won 24-12. In the game, Jones became the fastest player in NFL history to reach 12,000 career receiving yards, accomplishing the feat in 125 games, beating out Jerry Rice who took 142 games. Jones finished the 2019 season with 99 receptions for 1,394 receiving yards and 6 receiving touchdowns. He finished second in the league in receiving yards and sixth in receptions. He earned his seventh career nomination to the Pro Bowl for his 2019 campaign, but he elected not to go. Jones was ranked 11th by his fellow players on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2020. Despite only playing nine games due to injury, Jones still managed to finish 41st in receiving yards among 499 qualified players for the 2020 season, finishing the season with 51 receptions for 771 receiving yards and three touchdowns. On May 22, 2021, a photo of Jones wearing a Dallas Cowboys sweatshirt made him the subject of trade rumors on social media. On May 24, 2021, Shannon Sharp called Jones while live on Skip and Shannon, undisputed and asked him if he wanted to remain with the Falcons for the upcoming season. In response to Sharp's question, Jones said, I'm out of there. Jones also told Sharp that he had no desire to be a Cowboy and that he wanted to play for a winning organization. On June 6, 2021, the Falcons traded Jones and a sixth-round pick in the 2023 NFL Draft to the Tennessee Titans for a second-round pick in the 2022 NFL Draft and a fourth-round pick in the 2023 NFL Draft. Julio Jones is certainly one of the biggest names in the sport. He takes part in numerous commercials, for example, Under Armour, and he was also seen playing in a pair of Nike Air Jordans. In addition, Jones has appeared in ads for companies like Visa, Bose, Foot Locker and YouTube TV. Despite being such a popular celebrity, Jones has managed to keep his dating life away from the media. He has not revealed any information regarding his girlfriend so far. However, there were some rumors about Julio dating a woman named Jasmine Villegas back in 2016. Part of income earned from endorsements and contract signings with his team Falcons has been invested by the football player in a $200 million real estate development outside Atlanta among other investments. Jones has an awesome collection of cars to show as rewards for his commitment to duty. They include Ferrari 458 Spider Italia, Dodge Viper, Bentley, Porsche and Audi R8. The flashy automobiles are sheltered in his lavishing and beautiful mansion worth millions of dollars at Buford Atlanta. That's all for now, if you liked the video, like it, subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be the first to know about the release of the new video.